G'day Throttlers, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm bringing you the Cena Momentum Evo helmet, full face and the open face helmets. A comparison between the two and information about both. Uh, these have been sent out by motorcyclestuff.com.au uh, for me to review. I've had these little babies for over a week or so, so I've given them a good running. And uh, stick around because I'm going to tell you all about these and I'm also going to be answering some of the questions that you guys put in through Facebook and Instagram regarding these two helmets. <music> Okay, so as you can see here, we've got two Cena helmets. We've got the open face Cena helmet. We've also got the full face Momentum Evo mesh system helmet. That's a mouthful, I know, but there's a lot of stuff that's going into this helmet. So firstly, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna talk about the open face first to get it out of the way. Um, Cause I think primarily people are gonna be leaning towards the full face when you're talking about having a full communication system in it and uh, but still very cool features on this little puppy as well all right firstly taking a look at the open face helmet as you can see it looks just like any other matte black simple open face helmet on the market which is a good thing three press studs across the top so you can put visors on or face shields whatever tickles your fancy but the really cool stuff is that this is an open face helmet with a communication system in it. As you can see here on the left hand side of the helmet, you've got a nice simple dial, which is also press button active. You've also got a connection button here. Really simple to use. Once your phone is hooked up to this helmet, it's just turn it on and go. And uh, it's probably one of the easiest communication helmets to use on the market. Now from a recharging point of view, in the neck protection where the D-shackle is, uh, the double D-rings, uh, that's where your recharging location is. And the microphone is conveniently located in behind the mesh just up here on the top of the helmet. So it'll pick up your voice uh, even though there's no microphone in front of your mouth. So in my opinion, this is an absolute ripper if you want a communication system in an open face helmet. Probably the best option on the market, but I need to say that it's not perfect, and I need to say this. Now, from the point of view of writing, the audio was amazing. The uh, microphone reception was more than decent at highway speeds, if not perfect, because you don't have the chin bar to protect the microphone, but noise counseling, pretty bloody good. Now, the thing that I don't like about this, and to be honest, it's not just this helmet, it's most open face helmets, is, well, it depends on your face shape, uh, but I'll show you. So this particular open face helmet, as you can see, has got a really big top part of the head. And some people with a longer face or a stronger jaw, uh, it'd look fine on you, but for people like me, it's definitely a bobble head, and uh, I do have a low profile helmet coming to you in the next couple of weeks that suits me better, which might also suit some of you guys better. But this literally is the only downfall to this helmet. If you're after a open face helmet and you want a communication system in it uh, where you can connect to other riders, listen to music, answer telephone calls, this is a cracker of a helmet, except for the bobble head. All right. Probably the most simple review on that helmet ever. Now let's talk about the full face helmet and uh, get into a little bit of the nitty gritty. Okay, the Cena Momentum Evo. Now you may have seen a similar helmet to this in your Harley Davidson shop with a big Harley Davidson logo on the side of it with the same communication system in it. Yes, it's the same helmet, Harley Davidson have their version of it. And from what I understand, there's not much difference other than the branding and the different software applications because the Harley helmet actually links directly to the boom systems on the touring versions of the Harley Davidson motorcycles. Other than that, much the same as this. 
Okay, so let's look at the helmet as a helmet before we look at the communication system. As you can see on the chin bar, the ventilation has been increased since the previous model. So there's nice ventilation into the chin bar and also up onto the visor from the inside. The roof of the helmet, you've got a nice activation up here on and off switch to let ventilation in and a really nice exit point to let all the hot air escape uh, through the back of the helmet here. This helmet is 1600 grams, give or take a little bit. So it's not heavy, it's not light. Uh, and essentially, it's a really good looking helmet. You can have a look at that, it's quite sporty, um, but it's not so sporty that it's just for super bikes or sports bikes. It looks just as good plodding along on a Harley or a cafe racer as well. So yeah, it's a really good looking helmet. Now the visor itself has had an improved mechanism installed as well, which means it's not as flimsy as the previous model. And it does have three different locations. You can bring it to just open, then you can bring it to halfway open, and then fully open as well. So each one of these locations are reasonably solid, uh, but I would think from the mid location to the up, uh, a, a lot of wind gusts would actually make the visor come all the way up. It's not that tight. Now from a helmet point of view, without talking about the communications, the downfalls to this helmet, and there are only a couple. Uh, it sits really nicely on the head. It's a very comfortable helmet to ride with. Uh, I've done a few hundred kilometers with it, and I feel that, uh, that I had no pressure points around the head. Uh, my ears, some of the communication systems actually push my ears in and give me sore ears. No problems with the ears at all on this one as well. And the wind noise is, um, Better than average, I guess you could say. It's not amazing, it's not perfect, uh, but this helmet is at a price point where you're not expecting to have amazing insulation as well. Um, I can hear music through the communication systems really well and no complaints from a comfort point of view. Except for, so this lip here is actually designed to bring air through the chin bar vent up onto your visor on the inside to reduce your fog on the visor, which works really well. However, that lip sits right on my lip. It actually touches it. And uh, I don't know that if I've got a bigger head or a longer face, I don't know what it is, but it is probably something that I would get used to over time because the helmet is comfortable otherwise. However, it is a bit disconcerting when it's actually almost touching my mustache uh, and when I talk, my lip is actually hitting it. So something to consider, definitely worth you trying this helmet on before you buy to make sure that that isn't an issue for you, if that might bother you at all. And one other thing is this chin skirt here, if you've got a beard, the beard uh, always touches it and you can feel the chin skirt. For me, it wasn't that bad, but if you've got a longer beard, it might bother you a little bit. Anyway, let's crack into the tech stuff. And for those of you who know me, you know that I'm not really a tech guy, let's face it. I know how to turn a camera on and edit a video and that's about it. Anything to do with the TV, I have to get the wife to look at. Anything to do with my phone, I have to get the, light, the wife to look at. So in saying all of that, tech specs on this, let's go. Now the new Cena intercom that's built into this helmet, if you're looking at the external Cena units, it's more equivalent to the 20 models rather than the 10 models, so it's really, really high spec. But this is what's called a mesh system. And essentially the mesh system, it's a one-click connection. So you can connect to your phone as easy as you could possibly think, and even for me, as I said, I'm tech stupid, and it was easy to set up. More importantly, if you're riding with other riders that have comms as well, it's a quick one button touch and you're connected. It's a ripper system and in, for that, I think this is an awesome helmet. So it's a four way Bluetooth system and you can connect two media devices to the helmet as well. So you can connect say your phone and your GPS unit to the helmet with these. For me, I use the GPS out of my phone so I'm only connecting one unit. So the good news is this is DOT and ECE approved. Uh, so the safety on this helmet is definitely certified. And being an enclosed unit with the comms built into the helmet, it's actually waterproof. Now, so first things first, let's say you're buying a helmet and you wanna buy whatever helmet 
you want to buy. And let's say, for example, you're going to spend on something of this quality, you're generally going to spend around about $500 to $600. Then you're gonna put a Cena system on it if you want communications. So this is my current Moto vlogging helmet. Although it's a different brand, I'm not promoting this brand by any means in this video, but I'm just using it as an example. I spent four or $500 on this helmet to buy. And then to get my communication system in, I got a Cena 10C, which is old technology now, but I had to spend another five to six hundred dollars to get the Cena system put in as well. So that's taken this helmet close to being a thousand dollars and it's just a normal helmet with a Cena. And then I had to do the installation myself with the microphone and the wiring. So this helmet, everything's been done for you. Everything's built in already. It's built purpose built. The speakers near your ears have got plenty of room so they're not actually pushing up against your ears. All of the wiring is in. There's nothing hanging out like there is on my helmet. There's a massive battery bank in the back of it. The microphone's built in. It's purpose built. The downside to that is that you're stuck with only a limited style of helmet. So if you're after something that's really bright and flashy, different shapes and different styles, then this isn't the option for you because it's built in, you don't have the choices. Then you need to have an external unit, but it's going to cost more. This is the most cost-effective way to get a good quality motorcycle helmet with a good quality uh, audio system built into it, communication system, and uh, it gets you on the road for, well, let's talk about price right now, because that's some of the questions. All right, so my good mate Rhodes of Oz, Matt, and also Philippe Motocyclica have both asked a similar question and it is audio quality for phone calls and music. And uh, in particular for Matt, it was for the full face helmet. Now it, it's absolutely awesome. The full face helmet, the audio quality was, was great. Um, no, better than mine. Remember mine is, I had to do the installation myself, um, but audio quality is great. The microphone noise counselling is great. Cena have that nailed anyway in most of their products. Uh, there, you can have a phone call in your helmet riding a very loud Harley Davidson like I have, and the person listening to my phone call doesn't even know I'm on my motorbike. Um, so the, the noise counselling is amazing in all Cena products. So yes, audio quality good, speakers are good, music's good. I don't, I don't ride with music, but I tested it and it was good. And definitely the communications between telephones, absolutely spot on. The one thing that I didn't do, I did not ride with another rider to check out the communications between two helmets. Uh, I just didn't have the opportunity to ride with another rider to test that. But I can only assume that it's as quality as the music was and the telephone calls were. All right, Philippe Motocyclica has also asked about the battery life. Now that's exciting. Let's talk about the battery life. Now remember that in my Cena 10C, this is the whole unit here other than the wiring and the speakers and the microphone. So that is the camera, the audio, the communications and the battery all in that. And I get about, well, to be honest, if I'm filming using this, I only get like three or four hours out of it. It's not very good. Now, let's fast forward, say, I don't know, three years since I bought that and take into consideration that the whole battery bank, I believe is somewhere right in here. This thing gets 20 to 27 hours of talk time. So if it's only on standby and you haven't got music pumping through it and you're not talking constantly on it, you probably only have to charge this thing once a month. Whereas I have to charge mine for every ride and sometimes if it's a long day, I have to charge it at lunchtime as well. So this is 20 to 27 hours of talk time. And for me, that's really, where well, that's worth the money right there and then if you only have to plug this in once a month, uh, depending if you're riding it every day, maybe once every couple of weeks, but that battery life is awesome. And obviously, I've only had these things for a week, so there's no way in the world that I even went close to emptying the battery on them. 
Okay, my wonderful friend Way Pride up in Queensland has asked. Um, I want to know about the weight, the side view. Here's the side view. And also the speaker sound. Well, we've talked about the speaker sound already. Great quality speaker sound. Considering it's a helmet speaker, like you're not going to get um, amazing surround sound. Don't expect it a lot, but you've got clarity and that's the main thing. Now the weight, the weight for the full face helmet is 1,590 grams plus 50 grams. Now I don't know what the plus 50 grams is, but that's what it says on the helmet. The open face is 1,090 grams plus 50 grams. I'm assuming the 50 grams is the communications inside the helmet. So that's probably a helmet weight plus the inbuilt communications as well. Okay, my good mate Beefer from Koorilad73 on Instagram, he says, the half face helmet sounds good. Can you give me a bit of info on does the wind, wind interfere with the microphones and does it have a face shield and a price? Okay, so the wind, again, Cena has really high quality wind and noise cancelling uh, within their microphone systems. I don't know how they do it, to be honest. Now, obviously with your microphone being up in here, you're going to get a little bit of wind activity, but it, it cuts out in and out with the noise counseling. So again, I didn't have much problem with it. Uh, and Beefer rides a beautiful big victory bagger. Uh, so he's got a big bagger like me with a, a decent amount of wind protection as well. So Beefer, to answer your question, mate, I don't think it's going to bother you if you were to get this. Uh, I, again, I'd recommend that you try it and, um, and see how it goes, but I think that yeah, it wouldn't bother you at all. I think that, um, that the microphone would be really suitable for your style of riding. Uh, face shield, yes, the um, studs on the front, obviously they're aftermarket products that you can put visors on, shields, whatever you like. And so the final couple of questions is always around price. So Beefer has asked about the price on the open face helmet and this little puppy on motorcyclestuff.com.au is sitting around about $450, uh, which is, again, let's talk about the, the fact that it's a quality helmet. Uh, it's DOT and ECE approved. It's decently light and it's got the comm system built in, no added cost, 450 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. Now, the full face helmet, the big Mac daddy of the Cena range. I think above this, there's a pro version as well that actually has like a, a rooftop camera built into it as well, which this one doesn't have any camera interface at all. Um, and that's the advantage that I have on my 10C side mount. It's got a camera built into it. So this is around about $600 on the motorcyclestuff.com.au website. So, oh, there you go. I feel like I've been talking a lot during this review, uh, just dosing out information. But hopefully you guys got something out of that. Uh, hopefully uh, I gave you the information that you needed for these. Uh, obviously, if you've got any other questions, uh, drop a comment in the comment sections below. But more importantly, uh, reach out to motorcyclestuff.com.au and Div uh, is a very helpful fellow and I'm sure that he'd be able to answer any more detailed questions about these products and options for uh, things as well. Now, one thing I will say, I meant to say this earlier, is although we've got the visor here and you can get uh, smoked visors as well, so if you want something that's tinted, however, it doesn't have a drop down sunglasses visor in it like some other helmets do. So bear that in mind. Uh, you either need to have clear or a smoke shield on this uh, or else wear sunglasses under the clears. Whew. It's Saturday morning, the sun is out. I think I need to get out on the bike. So I'm gonna leave it here guys. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate everyone. Uh, if you enjoyed the review, consider giving it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you like anything to do with motorcycles and cars. And I try to bring a wide variety onto this channel. It's not very niche, it's actually uh, very broad. Um, but I, I make things that I'm interested in and uh, I hope that you guys are too. Anyway, as always guys, throttle on, stay safe, and I will see you on the next video. See you later.